And now, Richard, as you place this ring upon Laura's finger as a token of wedlock, look at her. Speak to her these words. You remember the beginning I said to you there was no one who could marry you, only the two of you could marry one another? Are you paying attention? Good. <laughs> You recognize then that it will be singularly inappropriate for me, or anyone for that matter, to pronounce you husband and wife, right? Hmm. However, by virtue of the authority vested in me as a rabbi, and pursuant to the laws of the state of California, I, Rabbi John M. Sherwood, delightedly recognize you as husband and wife. And now I ask you and all your dealings to bow your heads. Silently let's pray that your home will be blessed, and that you'll achieve your highest hopes. Grant, O oh Lord, that the love which unites this bridegroom and bride may grow in abiding happiness. May their family life be ennobled through their devotion. May there be peace in their home, quietness and confidence in their hearts. May they be sustained by your comforting presence in the midst of all humanity. We praise you, O oh Lord, who unites bridegroom and bride in holy joy as all of us together as a loving, sharing community say, Amen. Hi there. Who are you? Do I know you? No, look in the camera. In the camera. Do I know you? <laughs> okay, Richard, I want to tell you that I love you very much, and I'm very happy to be your wife, and I'm looking forward to a lot of happy years together and a lot of love. Hi, Laura. Um, I just want—I just want to tell you that I love you very much, and it was quite an honor to be your maid of honor. And it's an honor and a pleasure to be your sister and to be Richard's sister now. And congratulations. But at, at any rate, I wish them lots and lots of happiness forever. Is the face in the misty light? That you hear down the hall